You know, on that day I picked nuts from the tree, and it makes a pretty sound. That's, could we see it? So this is a linkite nut. Where does this make a pretty sound? I'll give that one to you. Have some more. Thank you very much. Say, tell us in detail about the time you saw the glowing bird. It was on the Osa Trail. We were camping out near the peak, and a glowing bird appeared. Osa Trail. Hmm. Also, the wind was strong on that day. A tree played... A tree, a tree nearby played a mysterious melody as his nuts shook in the wind. It was like a beautiful song. Tree nuts playing a mysterious melody? What the heck is that? It's probably the link eye tree that's said to grow in high places. It said that when the nuts shake in the wind, they sound like beautiful... Well, they make a beautiful sound like bells. Hmm, I didn't know that there was a tree like that. But it doesn't mean we can't meet Osha if we just go to the Osha Trail. No, the tree isn't there anymore. Either someone cut it down and took it away, or it was carried away in a landslide or something. Yeah, we didn't see any tree like that when we went there before. That stump we saw near the peak might have been it. We've traveled all over the world, but we've yet to see that tree again. The tree is thought to be extinct from over-harvesting and natural disasters. I don't think it will be easy to find. Hmm. I imagine that bird can only be found among steep, impregnable mountains, ones you could never reach by foot. Why do you think that? Because we've been to everywhere that one can walk up, or one can walk to. If you could find it in one of those places, I think we would have already encountered it. I see. Some of the situation in which they encountered the glowing bird. First, they encountered it on the Osa Trail. This indicates that the glowing bird only appears in high places. Next, a linkite tree made a beautiful sound as if the nuts were producing a melody. Finally, on the day, there was a wind, a strong wind, and the sound of the linkite nuts was carried a long distance by the wind. I think that about sums it up. They said that after traveling around the world, they went back to the Osa Trail again, but the linkite tree was already gone. And they've yet to find another linkite tree on any of their journeys. At least, they, there weren't any that they could get to by foot. Which means in order to meet Ashka, we need to search for a link eye tree in a place you can't get to on foot. That sounds impossible. Well, we don't need to accomplish it immediately, and even if we did find a link eye tree, it wouldn't do us any good if it was dead. It has to be carried on the wind, and playing a melody sounds difficult, too. Couldn't you do something about a dead tree with your healing arts? My power alone wouldn't be enough. In order to heal something that's already dead, I'd need something that could strengthen my skills. Something that could call forth the link eye tree's will to live. Something like an x or even just a small fragment of one. Also, if it's dead, that means the ground there is weak. We need to replenish the earth and make it nourishing again. Dad's the only one I think of... I, or Dad's the only one I can think of who might have a spare x -fear. Although, if there are any other dwarves around, they might have one too. There's nothing we can do. Let's give up on Asuka. Fascinating. Whoa! I see now. That's the impressive way you've uh, found the rules of how it works. But all we've learned is that meeting Asuka is hard. Well, I suppose so. I've gone ahead and made note of the information you've assembled. Feel free to talk to me anytime you want to hear it. Okay. Anything back here? Let's listen a little more to what they have to say. I've been extremely interested in the ecosystem in this area. Well, I keep telling them that the area is dangerous and we should go back. A lot of insect life. Can we get out of here? Alright. So you just can't go back that way. Oh, nice. That was hidden. All right, let's go. Yeah, I wasn't lying. There is a lot of insect life. Woo! You hit me out of it. Uh, hit me out of the air. There you go. Just as I expected. I don't need to give him TP, not yet at least. I should probably swap out one of them for Colette. Because she'll be able to do more. Over here. 
Besides the camera doing weird shit, what's over here? We can do it! Are you okay? I said you feel like glory. Angel feathers! That was just one. That's where the stone is. I have no clue where I am. Especially since you can't control the camera, really. That's why my back is itchy, too. That doesn't help when you have to play and scratch your back at the same time. Is a mountain pass? Oh, crap. No! Here comes more of them! Wow! Enemies can hit you out of anything in this game, can't they? Right, my unison attack is ready, but I'm not going to use it yet. What's up here? Oh, nothing. Yep, that's the only problem. The camera's weird. Don't let up. Alright, maybe we should try it. Press L3, right? It is... Circle and triangle. Let's try that. I think it's a double move, right? Oh, I don't have genius in my party, so I just have to do that. Actually, it doesn't make sense to waste it here because Rain, Rain can't do anything. You know why? Rain hasn't learned any offensive magic yet. Later on, she does. But for right now, she doesn't. She doesn't know any. It's not worth it, then. You're just gonna keep casting that? That seems inefficient. Oh, why'd that just click What the hell is going on? Hold on. The video's being weird. Alright, now it's fine. <laughs> the video was weird for a second. It like froze up. Pretty much I think if two two of your party members know the same move and they can, they can uh they can tag team. Nice, blocked it. Blame your fate. How much money do we have? Eeh, not a lot. There you go. Found the stone. Let's go all out. He slams himself on the floor, it stops him. Never stood a chance. So it's kinda stupid of him, but okay. Alright. Long mode can now be or can be used now by Eastern Palma Costa Athoda District. What the fuck? Athoda District. Sucker. There's a human ranch. I don't think they'll let me enter it.
The human ranch better not get too close. Yeah, they won't let you enter it. Not now. I just want to put it on the map so later on I can come in it. Oh crap, can't go this way. Something over here. Yes! <laughs> what is this? A house of salvation? Thoda Island. Sightseeing boat dock. Park. Seems you can reach Thoda Geyser by crossing the sea from here. Alright, welcome to the Thoda Island sightseeing boat dock. This is the most convenient, well, the only way to view the Thoda Geyser. It'll be 200 gold for a round trip. Not yet. Go up here. I use the bed. Here we go. If there's a bed. It might not be a bad time to take a rest. I'll spend it. Even if I become an angel. Man, it's hard to believe Colette has wings now. Yeah, I was surprised too. Say, Colette, what's going to happen at the next seal? What? Next shoe, hmm, maybe you get an angel halo? Or maybe your body starts glowing. I don't think it'll be horns or fangs or anything. I mean, you're an angel after all. Genus, stop. Okay, now it's time for children to be getting to bed. Colette. It's weird, isn't it, having wings? No, it's not. Even if you become an angel, you'll still be you, okay? Thank you, Lloyd. And good night. Please take care. Alright, let's save. I haven't saved since Palma Costa. Oh, yeah, the time's completely wrong on my PlayStation. Should have taken care of that when I quit. I didn't realize it at the time. Alright. Talk. 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 Talk, 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 talk. There you go. Let's go. Let's view it. It's a wash tub? Yep, it's a wash tub. Wash tubs. Hmm. Yeah, wash tub. Wow, this looks like it'll be fun. I'm going to wait here. Go on ahead without me. What's wrong, Professor Sage? Nothing. I'm not getting in that thing. It looks fun! Come on, let's get in! Yeah, Rain! <laughs> Whoa! Ah. Professor Sage, are you afraid of water or something? I... I was just starting to say, ah! This should be fun! Sure... Get in the damn tub. Sure. <laughs> That's Thoda Geyser. We finally arrived. That was fun, wasn't it, Lloyd? Seawater came in and I thought I was going to sink. Here, Professor. Alright, thank you. That was a rare experience. I need to save. I just saved. Up ahead, Thoda Geyser. Wow! Lloyd, a geyser is a type of hot spring that periodically erupts a boiling, wa a boiling water and water vapor. Yeah, I knew that. Hmm. What is it, Chosen? That sign over on that lookout platform. What about the sign? Looks kind of familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. Let's see. Approximately 200 years ago, the Thoda Geyser. The Thoda Geyser. Uh.